What's up guys, it is I, the Apple Buyer here today and I'm back with a brand new video for you all and today we're doing a video on this TV here. You obviously can see it. It is a very old TV. Actually, it's not too old, but I mean it is a tube TV, so it is at least 10 years old. <laughs> Let's go with that. And I've had already two people since I since when I do face cam videos, people tend to notice uh, all the stuff on my shelf. I mean, it is there. It's part of the focal point, kind of. And people are like, why do you have a prison TV? And I'm like, oh, well, I should make a video on this. It's, it's, a, it's quite the story, and actually it's not that big of a story, but I'm going to do a story on this TV and tell you a little bit of the history behind this TV since it is a pretty nifty piece of hardware. Now, first off, I just want to get into the details of this TV and tell you what this TV can do. So this TV does not have a built-in speaker, uh, if you can see right there. Let me zoom in on that. The speaker would be there, but due to this being a prison TV, um, they did not want, like, basically, since as a prisoner, you you live in a cell, and usually you have other cellmates, I guess you can call them. Uh, they didn't want your TV blaring with the speakers really loud and uh, disturbing all the other inmates and also the, the officers that were working there. So they did not install speakers into this TV. You do have to plug in your own headphones or external speakers, which isn't a big deal. I mean, hint, hint, iPhone 7. This phone actually has a headphone jack. Also, this TV is obviously a tube TV, so that's another way of showing that this TV is very old. And this TV only supports um, the composite, obviously, but it only uh, supports the coax cables. You can see it kind of down there, kind of. It only supports the coax cable, so if you want to use anything other than like cable or an antenna on it, you would need an RF modulator, and basically what an RF modulator is, is just a converter for composite uh, cables, that way you can plug your coax cable into the modulator and then that'll be your input to the TV and then you plug in your composite cables into the modulator and that would be the input to the modulator to the TV. Now let's say you are a prisoner. Well the way you get this TV is you basically from what I've read up at least I, I guys I myself have not been in prison and I don't plan to get in prison anytime soon I've just read up on this TV, and if any of you guys are in prison and you know how the system works, please comment down below how the system works for you. But this is how this is what I've read, so this is what I'm going off of. Basically, you'd get good behavior points inside a prison, go figure, and uh, you can spend these points or whatever at like the prison store. And the TV, as shown right here, is one of the things that you can buy at the prison store for a decent amount of points, I think, I, I'd assume at least, and you can use your points and redeem it for the TV. Okay, so you're wondering, all right, this is a prison TV, cool. Why is it clear? Well, the reason why this TV is clear is because if you wanted that luxury of having a TV inside of prison, I mean, especially with these tube TVs, these tube TVs you can fit all kinds of stuff into, really. They didn't want you to basically smuggle stuff into the prison somehow or have a weapon or whatever it is that you might have that's not supposed to be inside a prison and have you hide it inside the TV and when they do like their searches, I guess, then not be able to find it. So they'd have this clear TV. That way they could just easily look inside the TV, see if you had anything suspicious inside the TV. That way they could know if you have something you're not supposed to. Also, I looked on eBay and Amazon for this TV since you can't really find this TV anywhere to buy except like Goodwill or garage sales if you're lucky. And on eBay, they're actually kind of hard to find on eBay, but they're around 75-ish dollars I found. And on Amazon, well, this TV isn't even on Amazon, so you can only find this TV probably on Amazon or garage sales. You'll find it kicking around somewhere if you really put your put your heart to it and tried finding one of these TVs. You can find them, but I kind of want to say they're rare, but I don't know if they're rare because no one ever talks about these TVs and no one really uses them 
either, honestly. Now, I'm sure many of you are wondering, how did I get this TV? Did you go to prison? No, like I said, I did not go to prison, and I don't plan to. I have, I'm not any delinquent or anything, guys. But basically, my dad found this TV at Goodwill. And every once in a while, we usually go to Goodwill and just look at the stuff they got there, since they do have some pretty pretty cheap and cool electronics, I will say. And so he went down there to see if there was anything cool that they had, anything unique. And he found this TV for like 20 bucks there. And of course, it, it was a cool Christmas present. I mean, honestly, I, I still think this is a cool TV. I love having this thing. And um, so he bought it for $20 and gave it to me for Christmas. And I didn't know anything about this TV. I thought, oh, cool. It's just a, it's just a 20 or not $20 TV, a, a weird old clear TV. So, after a while, I noticed that there was some weird writing on it, and I'll show you guys the weird writing on the top, and it had a name on it, and I was like, well, what the heck, why is this TV clear, and why is there a name uh, written on the top of it? It's not really written, it's etched into it, but, so I did some research, and I typed in RCA Clear Tube TV, and uh, I found out that it was a prison TV, and that usually, if the, the inmates would write their or etch their names on the top of the TV. That way they could officially claim ownership of the TV. So I think how I got this TV was, I mean, obviously my dad bought it for me and gave it to Christmas, but I think the inmate that owned this TV last just decided to say, hey, donate this to Goodwill, let some person take it. So whoever the inmate is, thanks for giving me this TV, bro. So for this, I have to have my flash on just because of the fact that it's clear and etched in. But right there, some guy named, let me focus in, Banks, B-A-N-K-S. And that's like his, I, I don't know what that number is there. It was probably like his prison ID or something like that. So yes, the, the prisoners did have to put their name on it and their identification for their inmate thing I don't know how prisons work honestly another little thing that you guys can learn from this TV is that also there was an evidence seal on the back since there is a screw right there and there's another one on the other side but there was an evidence seal there that way uh, that the, the, the police could know if you tampered with the TV or not because if you broke this seal which by the way it is not broken um, then they'd know you got into it and you were doing something fishy inside the TV. So there's an evidence seal on the back if you were wondering. And yeah, this is the 13-inch Secure View. I forgot to call. I forgot to give you guys the name of it. It's uh, called Secure View. Hmm. I wonder why it's called Secure View. This is the 13-inch Secure View RCA Clear TV. Um, it might be reworded differently, but that's those are the words that you can use to search this TV up if you'd like. And it's worth around 75 ish dollars on eBay as far as I've researched on it. Maybe you can find it for cheaper somewhere else. They also have an HD version of this, like a flat screen HD version. It is also 13 inches and it is on Amazon. So just type in um, clear, I'll just link it down in the uh, description actually. I'm, I'm not gonna give you that guy's name of it, although it is similar to this TV, but this is my clear TV, the prison TV. A few of you have asked, and I thought, hey, why not make a video on this? Because this is a cool TV, and I really like this TV. And my gosh, there's politics on my channel. Why is there politics on my channel? <laughs> and yeah, this is the inside of the TV, the guts. I didn't really get to show you guys all that much of it, but this is the guts of the TV. It's pretty cool. I like this TV a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all tomorrow with the next one.